Right, so guess who I saw? Eddie Watson. I have known him for ages, like over a decade now, and I'm so, so proud of who you've become. Like, I'm so proud of you, Eddie. Thank you, thank you, Miss G. You're doing marvelously well. Thank you, thank you. We're pushing. Uh, much as, you know, you know, you know, go flaunt say you be Ghanaian, no? But we, we, they call you our own now. I know, you know, I know, we, I know. We, we, we just say, ah, oh, it's a Ghanaian actor who is in Nigeria. But of course, that's what it is. You know, we can't change it. That's what it is. You know? Tell me, how have you been enjoying life? Life here in Nigeria because it looks like you've relocated. I mean, I actually spent more time, you know, family based, still Ghana, US, because my, my daughter and my wife is in the, in the States. So, um, so it gives me more chance to spend time in Nigeria working. So it's been, I mean, it's been, it's been pretty cool, you know. I mean, Nigerians too, they've accepted me, you know, in the industry, you know, so it, it makes it easier for me. Now, you've worked in Ghana, you're working in Nigeria now. Yeah, okay. How different are these two, you know, countries in terms of production of movies? In terms of production, I think, um, I think we still have a lot of quality productions happening in Ghana. The only difference is that the speed at which, and uh, if you look at the monetary aspects, right, they are more, they have more, I mean, there is more money available in Nigeria. So you have more productions in Nigeria. So as an actor, I mean, if you get to work often or frequently in Nigeria, and uh, it helps with your popularity, it helps with um, the financial aspect of it. So it's just a lot when it comes to that. But then the quality of films, the quality of productions, I don't think Ghana is any less than what is happening in Nigeria. I think Ghana is still, you know, top notch when it comes to production quality. Mm. Yeah. Like you said, like you said, the money. So you've relocated, you know. I I spend more time here, you know. Mm. So um, obviously because I work more here. Mm. So and then because my, my 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 family also is in the states, so, so you have a lot of time. I, to yeah, I can work here. Then you know, often go to the states, see my family, come back. So I don't spend as much time in Ghana, right? But it doesn't take anything away from my attachment to Ghana. You know how I feel, how I support everything Ghanaian. You know, so it's just it's just that way for me. Now, now. One of the things that I know that I need you to share with the world, maybe because I'm not sure I'm going to see you later in the day, yeah. is how you saw the seed back then yeah. of a television set. Do you remember that? And yeah, a television set. You remember that? Uh, my in ICGC. Yeah, the television set. Have you, you were, How can I forget? <laughs> I sold a seed. Yes. Um, that's. That was one of the toughest periods in my life, you know. And uh, my mom, being a pastor, also my mom, the only thing she taught me is uh, church. She taught me like going to church, praying, being consistent with God, you know, sowing seeds and all that. So I was at a point where I needed to break through. I needed something extraordinary to happen to my life. And because I needed something extraordinary to happen to my life, I think I had to do something beyond what like your capacity I had to stretch you know I had that was the that was the that was the most valuable asset I had a television <laughs> so when I couldn't when I couldn't get the money to pay to sew I just took the television and took it to the church ICGs ICGC uh, Teshi yeah Uzana Temple and let's talk about the transformation since then because yep. there's been a lot of conversation about seed sewing titan and all that yep. since you did that out of faith yeah did anything change in your life after that? I mean, everything, everything. It started little, but then everything, you know. I mean, God just set me, he set me on a, on a path that it's been an upward trajectory all through. You know, I, I'm not going to say there hasn't been any challenge or there are no challenges. There have been challenges, but, I mean, he sustains you at a point, then he takes you further up. So, I mean, I still do the same thing. I still sow seeds, I still pay my tithe, my tithe. I still do everything I was doing in the past. I haven't forgotten my roots. So, but when you when you connect with God, when you connect with God, and you are able to do something that God looks at and say, like, look, this guy is able to do this beyond what he has. You know, I think he 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 looks at you in a different way. He opened doors for you that you would never believe. I directed that also. That was uh, my first direction in a long time. But I work basically as an actor. But I still produce my own movies. I think like when you when you when you're producing your own movies, you have the chance to tell stories you are interested in. And for me, I always connect back to my my, my Christian roots. So I want to tell stories that are gonna inspire people, change lives and all that. So it's 
it's been, it's been I, I don't think I'm going to keep producing movies and working as an actor all my life. Anyway, let's leave you to go and enjoy, and hopefully when we get to see later, we have some lengthy yeah, conversation. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, we'll, it's late dinner. Late Eddie, dinner. it's so great to see you. Mm. Mwah.